Hey there writers and welcome to your fourth writing prompt. Today I want to talk a little bit about imagery and details and how these things can enhance our writing and bring us closer to the story. Think about the last book that you read and in particular think about maybe a moment in that book when an author made you feel so immersed in the world that you almost forgot about everything that was happening around you. What are some of the things that the author used to make you feel that way, to bring you closer to that place? Think about some of the details that they may have included involving what the characters were seeing, what they were hearing, what they were smelling, what they were tasting, what they were feeling. And think about how this brought you as a reader closer to their experience. Think about how it connected you to characters, it connected you to the world, and how it connected you and brought you further into the story. Now, as writers, I think details are so important because they inform us about characters in ways that the story doesn't necessarily do all the time. You know, by fully taking us to a place that the character is at, either maybe inside their own mind or just physically, I feel like it relates us closer to what they may be going through and connects us to them. I believe as readers, we always want to feel connected to the characters in some way. Even if we don't necessarily like them or agree with all of the decisions they make, we want to feel like we can know them on some level, even if these people don't really even exist. So, going along with that idea, you probably heard the phrase, a picture is worth a thousand words. But I want to ask you, how many words did it take for you to paint a mental picture? Visualize any sort of scene in your head. It can be real, it can be a place that you've been to before, or it can be a place that's completely made up. And I want you to take us there. I want you to describe everything about that place. Describe, if I were there, for example, what I would see, what I would hear, what I would smell, taste, feel, and what I would get out of that environment. And why is this important? Why did this inform the reader of where I am. How does this explain where I am or what I might be going through? So take a moment, really visualize a place, and then I want you to fully describe that place. And then send it to me. Um, I hope you have fun with this one. I want to let you know that I've been reading all of the stories that you've been sending in, and I've so appreciated all of them. You guys are such great writers and I'm so happy to be sharing this moment with you in time. I hope you've been staying safe, I hope you've been staying healthy, and I hope you're staying well. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Good luck writing and have fun.